the Burkina Bay, Malaya, or Nigeria, and we test our will, we shall bring them to their knees. Fanny Kayode, not the news info. Spokesperson of the ruling APC 2023 Presidential Campaign Council, Femi, Femi Kayode, has taken to social media to react to the threat of the military government of Burkina Faso and Mali against external bodies that plan on intervening in the Niger Republic's military coup. He reacted on Twitter, recalled that the military president of both Mali and the Burkina Faso had a few hours ago released a statement warning ECOWAS and West African leaders to desist from using their military to restate Niger Republic's democratically elected president Mohamed Bazoum. According to Al Jazeera, both military leaders stated that any military intervention from West African leaders would be considered as a declaration of war against their nations and such move could result in a disastrous consequences that could destabilize the entire region. And so, following such threat by Burkina Faso and Mali, former official minister Femi Fani Kaudi took to his official Twitter account to express concern as he stated that their threat a pitiful and biggest mistake that the government of Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger Republic and their allies can ever make is to underestimate the fighting force of the Nigeria army. Speaking further, the APC shifting noted that we may have challenges and issues in our country, but when at war against foreign armies on foreign soils, we have never been overwhelmed or defeated. History proved that we are slow to anger, but irresistible in battle, and if the Burkina be Malian or Nigeria army test our will, we shall bring them to their knees and teach them the lesson of their lives. Okay, and for my listeners, are they watching the BOT on the issue at hand? If the Burkina be Malian or Nigeria army test our will, we shall bring them to their knees. Fanny Kaudi, please react to that. If I should do so, believe do justice to every of your reactions. Put out the video's opinion. You're already popping in from the comment section. The first one from Nusa. Say with you in the front line, Abi. Those people of Niger are happy with the coup. The democracy, the democracy we practice in Africa is just a uniform for corruption under immunity of democracy. I think we all saw how the finance minister of Niger was crying when given 48 hours to bring out or say where the fund of the government went to. Okay, imagine that was that was Nigeria. You hold somebody like Kanduji, Mefile, Malami, the former Akanta general, they are all friends under this corrupt democracy okay coup don't just happen it happens for a reason the law that seems like it is only for the poor the elite are above it it will soon consume them that is why you are all scared leave nigeria okay okay leave nigeria alone they are happy facebook around face bodied face corruption and solve the people's problem there would be a coup if you don't this sorry eventually there will be an uprising you can continue to push people to a, a wall and not expect reaction i say they go the rap do rama dan lad say this man is a comedian come on boko around you didn't bring them to their knees let alone a whole army of three countries. Now, wow, there's a few then from future presidency. Ordinary body, you can defeat now. You want to challenge a military country if you mess up with Niger, they will send you to God. 
for judgment you allow them because of this one you are on your own the from gay say book around bodies are kidnapper that tested your will have you have you brought them to their knees my mind all these people Think of this now we are wrapping it please send over to subscribe to this channel and also ensure that you share the very news to our social media platform as you do so believe the almighty god we do the very need to your life bye, -bye.